Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. All right, you may recognize this environment. I've had one or two videos here. I am here at the corporate offices of Olibar Brown. It's a really exciting place. It's filled with creative people and people that live the passion of style, fun, and of course, James Bond. And we're here today for that very reason. You see, give or take 40 years ago, 1983, Movies like, I don't know, Return of the Jedi, but also Octopussy came out. And the good people at Olibar Brown nearly 12 months ago reimagined an entire homage line around Octopussy. I think we're going to explore this today with several different people, the creatives behind it, but also people you may recognize and I get to play. I get to try these things on. So in the world of Bond and Olibar Brown, I would say that you're in for a major treat. Okay, and as promised, I am here with Simon, the design director for All of Our Brown. Simon, good to see you again. Great to see you, King David. By the way, we, we were waxing a little bit nostalgic. Uh, you helped us. You were our Sherpa through the last collection Absolutely, that we did. Yeah. The Heritage Collection. Precisely, yeah. That was amazing. Th that collection did very well. They did it? great for us, yeah. Especially the, um, the opening scene, um, Swim Short, was a, was a fantastic result. So yeah, no, it was great. Thank you all very much. I, I have those. I've worn them out in the great. world. And they perform extremely well. Good. And a great, Good. nice, nostalgic nod. Now, I've, I've explained in the opening of this video, we are celebrating something today. Mm -hmm, I'm so happy to be back to all of our Brown to do this. The 40th anniversary of Octopussy. of Octopussy. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about, first of all, what does the movie mean to you? Did you see it when it first came out? I did. My grandparents actually took me to the film um, 40 years ago. Yeah. So it was, um, yeah, it was, it was great always to go and see the, you know, the James Bond films. It was a big occasion as it is now still when, mm -hmm. when the new films come out. So yes, remember it. Remember it 40 years ago, remember elements of it, of course. Um, so it was great to revisit the film um, for this collection. Well, that's what's exciting about this. I, I love how all of our brand will take a moment like a film yep. or a film franchise like James Bond and put it through a creative filter and really pay an homage to it. And we have an entire rack of wonderful homage pieces. Yep. And you're going to be our Sherpa again. You're going to take us through each piece and tell us a little bit about what motivated each piece. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I, and I think that, like you say, it's take, taking us through the, through the process from, from the film and taking real inspiration from the film, um, which is you know, what, what we wanted to achieve. Um, but also taking it, you know, the film was 40 years ago, we've got to bring it forward now to 2023 and making sure that it's, it's, it's clothing inspired by the film that we all want to wear now. Exactly. And what I like about it too, we, you and I have talked about this, yeah. it's not cosplay. No. It's not, oh, there's an exact replica, I'm wearing a costume like a stormtrooper outfit. These are invisible moments Absolutely. of Absolutely. celebration. It's inspiration. Yeah. Totally. I love that. Totally. All right, should we jump into the okay, first one? Okay, so one of them is like a real, the real first one is, you know, is the, is the Roger Moore suit, the James Bond suit. Oh, um, of course. From that film, of course. And there's the wonderful linen suit. So there's a wonderful scene when he's walking up through the, um, across the swimming pool. Um, so we're taking like, taking literally, you know, like I say, the feeling of that suit, the inspiration of that suit, the color level of that suit, of course, it's 100% linen as this one is, um, in this beautiful Italian linen. Um, but we've taken, like I say, we've updated it into, um, into now, into 2023. So if you, if you look at references from, from that suit, he's got a very wide straight leg trouser on, whilst we've, you know, we've updated it now to our, to our more slimmer um, signature silhouette that is mm -hmm. tailored to the silhouette to it. And even the lapels, I would imagine, they're not they're the, slightly, slightly the wingspan. Narrow, <laughs> that's going on to, onto there. Right. Uh, and, you know, in the pocket flaps, we've changed it to check, po to check pockets onto there, mm -hmm. but still got all those lovely um, tailoring references to it, so that the jacket will come with, like, lovely sort of all the cuff buttons are also the working buttons on there they all Perfect. kiss onto there um, and we've added in like elements to it so we just sort of um, inspiration that feeling of the of, you know of, of James Bond that Roger Moore sort of era so it was linens it was sort of seersuckers into the fabrications and clothing that they were right. sort of wearing um, so we've taken like the feeling of a striped seersucker and used that as, as the lining to the detail which goes into the suit Hold on a second. And then this look is at little this. city crit going into there. Can, as well. can we get a close-up of this? Sure. Because look at 
Look at that label. I mean, we live for those type of labels. That is beautiful. Now, talk to me a little bit about the label because it's the okay. first time we're seeing so that. So, this is the first time we've seen this. So, I guess, you know, we're, we're all, all about brand clothing as, as, as well as taking the, John, the um, James Bond influence to it. That we have hidden details in it that are known for the wearer that they, they, they can wear it. They're like, you know, they're nice detail, whether it be like the top stitch going onto the jacket. So, we developed like this really sort of beautiful um, woven label um, where we're taking, you know, the. Um, the graphic from the film, from the from, from the um, film, and then it's been sort of wo woven into there. Um, uh, you know, just de define this as a sort of a real sort of, um, you know, it is that movie moment, it is that inspiration from the film, and it's just like a real sort of signature to sum that up. And then the whole collection also sort of comes with the um, with right. this top label there as well. Yeah, we'll get some B-roll of that later. But my gosh, it's beautiful. And that's that's again one of the things that we like. We don't want the labels to be like a major thing. We want, yeah. especially with a suit. You know, some of the other pieces of clothing we're going to get to, we want them to be overt. Yeah. In this case, we want it to be subtle. Yeah, you still want to look very elegant into it, and it can be an all-time, you know, all, all year round, all occasion, um, wearing suits. So you've got the corresponding trouser to it, which is in our in our classic um, Griffin tailored shape. So with the you know with the with the side adjuster into, into it. So it's that that modern suit, modern interpretation of the of, of the of the Roger Moore James Bond suit from from Octopussy. Absolutely beautiful. And, and then the whole collection, as you see on the on the. Um, on that as well, will come with that sort of memento of the um, the 007. I'm bringing in this octopus work, artwork, which we'll see a little bit more detail coming through later on. Um, so all the pieces will come exclusively with, with this additional label onto them. And and I know there's a story behind that imagery, but we'll wait till one of the other pieces. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm with you. Okay. So tailoring the suit is a big sort of influence. What we do. Yes. And. Um, as we were researching this collection, we just wanted to use um, the depth. We were exploring a little bit more into the detail of, of, of James Bond in general sort of clothing. And obviously um, tailoring and um, of all the James Bonds has, has been like a very important part of what, 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 what James Bond wears. Mm -hmm. um, so we were looking at structures as well within tailoring and structures within whether it be um, like a hang's tooth or a uh, herringbone, and in particular, we were looking at in this particular um, James Bond reference with bird's eye and sort of bird's eye construction of the way the fabric is woven. Right. Um, so this little story here, going into this next part of the, of the collection, is is based around um, when you really sort of zoom in on a on a bird's eye and on a bird's eye um, tailoring. So what, from one of the James Bond suits. Um, and t in taking that, and then we've been taking that artwork and interpreting it through into different garments. So in which this particular case is on our classic sort of Horton polo shirt, mm -hmm. and this is um, it's a cotton silk, and this is all um, jacquarded into here. So the, the extremely soft. Is, is jacquard. Yeah, it's got a beautiful soft handle. A nice banded uh, bottom and a banded yeah. arms. Very and then nice. to the back of it is it's the solid. So the artwork just yes. appears onto, onto the front of here. So. Um, the way this is constructed, we'll see some garments in a little bit later on where they're sort of printed. We do a mixture of um, both printed and jacquarded garments. Um, so basically, the, the, in this case where it's knit, um, the machine, you know, knit machine is set up with the warp and the weft, um, bringing it together, and the artwork is then created within, within mm. that weave, within that knit into there. So it's a really nice exclusive artwork going through into there, inspired by um, you know, bond suiting, bond tailoring. And it runs through into both this one into the cotton silk, if that's a little bit too loud for you. you not at all. The, not at all, of course <laughs> not. You've got the, um, the, the version oh, here it's where crazy. it's again in cotton silk, but it's all in um, tonal texture. So this time you get the texture, the highs and the lows, um, creating the um, creating the look so, into here. So you've done this before. What I yeah. like about <laughs> these type of homage lines is you almost put on your hat from creative designer to costume designer. And you yeah. think about if you were putting something on Roger Moore today, what are those casual pieces you might put him in? What would he wear? Yeah, if he, yes. was, if he was now sort of... If I he can was, see you know, him James wearing this. Absolutely. Fantastic. That's great. So here we have the, yeah, the, the free button polo shirt, but on the same fit as basically as, as the previous one. And there you have the artwork um, all, all over the garment, all through the garment. And technology doesn't allow you to feel the fabric yet through YouTube, but <laughs> this thing is butter soft. And that's the combination, I'm sure. Okay. So... We've seen it there in, 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 in knitted, and then introducing our, um, our first swim piece, 
within their head. Yeah. So on our classic sort of bulldog fit, we've also um, taken the same artwork and in the same process where it's jacquarded, but it's then jacquarded um, as, as a woven fabric as opposed to a knit. Mm -hmm. um, so taking that, that same artwork, so again, really, really elegant um, resorts, sort of swim short. Again, you, know, they, you really could imagine James Bond, I think, wearing these sort of pieces nowadays. No? Absolutely. Um, so again, teaming it up with the um, with the cream there, it looks looks really elegant as this sort of look. Or there's other sort of pieces which were sort of worked back together with that. And for the uninitiated, this is still put together the same process of all those different pieces. Hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. So there's those pieces which are sort of we've got the suit, we've got those pieces which are very much um, based based on the, on the jacquarding mm -hmm. and, the, and the suits and structuring. We then sort of okay. What, what are those pieces that you're going to wear with those, like with those styles, yeah? Um, so we're bringing in some sort of really lovely, elegant sort of polo shirts. So, um, as you're wearing yourself now, the, the Sebastian polo shirt, as modelled. Um, so this is a, a real sort of core OB classic sort of style. Oh, nice. And there's, sort of, there's, there's great imagery of, um, of James Bond and Roger Moore within the film, wearing sort of creamy, these sort of pastely, sort of softer sort of colourways. Um, but... Um, not necessarily or, or sort of um, pale blues or whatever, these sort of slightly sort of more past, pastel-y level of colour, but maybe in these slightly more sort of very few sort of tones. So um, this particular one, again, just sort of modernising the sort of fabrication as well. So it's a cotton blended with silk. So again, mm. it's got a really lovely sort of soft handle it's going beautiful. through into it. And then we're bringing in that, this lovely sort of um, khaki level there going in, into it as well, yeah? You know, it's a tip of the hat to, of course, Octopussy, but I'm finding that this is a nod also to Roger Moore. Yes. Because these colors are very of the era, of the oh, 80s, absolutely. the 70s, that he was a part of. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's that real sort of, that, that feeling of, feeling of film in general during that, that period. Yes. Especially, especially those sort of James Bond. Sort of it's, it's kind of a multi-sense aspect to it. So you've yeah. got the colors, you've got the feel. Totally, yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, playing on that sort of colour and feeling is bringing in these, these lovely sort of um, new colourways into the terry, so, which is our classic sort of um, terry toweling open collar yes. um, polo shirt. Quite often we do these in sort of more brighter colours like Riviera Blue or our signature sort of red, but just bringing them again into these sort of um, colours of that era. So it's like a um, muted rose, really nice. what is yeah, this? Yeah, precisely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A really lovely rose pink, but it's almost like got that sort of dustiness to it, um, which goes through to it. Am I going too far of an assumption or speculation saying that India was mm. also an inspiration in this? Because yeah. I'm seeing some colours that play back to that. There is that bit. sort of really lovely sort of, yeah. You know, part of the film, you know. Absolutely, absolutely yeah. Sort of film Core to it, manner. really. Yeah, yeah, wow. no, totally, totally. So we love those. Um, Fantastic. And again, I think that the, this colorway in particular, if you want that more sort of tonal look in a very lax way of wearing the this, wearing this suit, yeah. um, works, works really nice with like the little sports jacket. No one wore beige quite like Roger Moore. <laughs> a wonderful San Tropez tan that he had, my absolutely. gosh. And, oh, and then wow. bringing in like um, bringing it back in the same sort of color level, going that into our into our bulldog cotton short as well. So again, just that, that feeling of that color level of the yeah. era, and a, 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 you know that that sort of there's a softness to it, and there's a knockbackness to it as well, I guess, rather than a, a bright fuchsia pink or a bright pastel pink. And for those playing along at home, if I know Simon like I know Simon. I'd love that you've done kind of a mix and match because a lot of us will very consciously think, like I did coming to London, what am I packing sure. on vacation? And I'd much rather pack a few things that I can make several outfits with yep. as opposed to packing several outfits. So, yes, absolutely. So it's not, yeah, it all mixes and works it together does. nicely as you're sort of going through the Yeah, collection. works as a collection. Absolutely. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so our polo shirt, well, I think looks really lovely and we're in that sort of era. We were also sort of um, taking that feeling of those oh. sort of quite sort of 70s sort of shirts. It's, it's a shirt which we introduced about a year ago into the collection called the Howl. So it's um, again in our, in our terry toweling fabric, um, but this time, you know, doing it as, as a, a resort shirt. So it's a very relaxed shirt. It yes. could, could be an alternative to a polo shirt if you don't want to go as... Um, as form as a full button free shirt shirt. Is this a slightly thicker terry than the... It, it is a slightly, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. and it's slightly more structured. It's got like a PK back to it. Oh, nice. So it's got a real sort of, um, holds its shape very, very nicely. So this, this, yeah, but it's got that very nice, looks great undone. You can wear a t-shirt sort of underneath it as yep. well, or or it looks perfect with the swim shorts. I think, you know, when those sort of color levels are bringing in the chocolate brown with a navy blue, it's very elegant, very smart. Very nice. As well. very and I haven't music. seen a lot of chocolate brown with OB in general. So, I mean, it's no. kind of nice to have something unique from Absolutely. a color no, we're, standpoint. We're feeling it a lot. Yeah. It feels good. It feels good. These are the color levels coming in. 
I um, like it. Living, living this now is really nice. Yeah. Very nice. Great. Okay. Okay. So we. I, I almost feel like this. There needs to be an intermission. <laughs> Because, you know, absolutely. And now we're going to cross a barrier, aren't we? We are indeed. Okay. So um, we've been sort of very, like I say, we've been exploring, exploring the films. We've explored numerous films over the years, and especially with Octopussy at the moment, we've been exploring that. And then, you know, let's, let's celebrate the logo. Let's celebrate 007. Um, so this is taking our, this is our first really sort of a, approach to doing the 007 short yeah. in, in, like I say, in, in Jack Harley games, it was all sort of woven into, into, into the short. Um, I, think, I think it looks fantastic with the, with it's the gold It's amazing. Yeah. You know, it's interesting too, because when I first saw it on the rack, um, unless you get closer, it yeah. could be just a pattern. Yes. And then the hidden secret, much like Bond, becomes yeah. very apparent. Yes, yes, absolutely. And also, you know, because it's woven, it's got a real elegance to it. Yes. As, as like Bond. Yeah. Now, this is not the typical, even 70s or 80s logo. This is something different. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Was this something that was found, provided by Eon? Well, we were, like I say, when we were researching through the film, we loved um, some artwork which was coming in, mm. into the film. Um, in particular, um, Octopussy's dressing gown. And of um, the octopus, which, <laughs> which is so beautifully, beautifully illustrated on, on, on to, onto the back of the gown. So um, this was like the real sort of starting point. Um, it, it was the it was the artwork which was which was some of it was used in the film. Right. Some of it was um, actually you know never made its way finally to to, to, to to the ends of the film. But it was all all created by uh, wonderful illustrations by and please excuse my pronunciation by Marco um, um, Piotrowski. I hope Better than I, I would have done. done. I apologise yeah. if I haven't. <laughs> um, and Henny is a, a fantastic illustrator for for, for a number of um, Bond films. He also um, I think he did for Your Eyes Only. He did some artwork for, for the film posters for there. Um, I think he also did um, Doctor Zhivago as well. Oh, wow. uh, so he's a, a brilliant illustrator, um, and, and just had this real sort of elegance to, to it. So we loved the flow. We loved the movement we, we, we were pushing there, and it was like a real sort of. Um, starting point for the next part of where we built out the rest of the part of this collection. Right. Um, so, yes, that was his in in interpretation okay. of the logo, sort of going, going into there, the 007 going into there. Amazing. It's got that lovely sort of movement to it. So we've jackarded it here, and in the Howell shirt, which we were oh, looking wow. a little bit about together, this is um, printed, in this case, right. it's printed onto our, uh, onto our terry towning fabric. Um, so it's got that softness to it, it's got a relaxedness to it, it's got a sort of a beachy resortness yes, to it at yes. the same sort of time. I love how it continues, even if we turn this towards the camera, sure. um, it continues inside, yeah. around the neckline, so you see the details, so if it pops open at the beach or... You, yes, you still got that lovely... You still have it, it continues forward. Absolutely. Wow. So yeah, we're, um, this, yeah, this is, so this is, this is a new thing for us as well, actually sort of printing onto towelings and, and, and um, yeah, it's been, it's been a great, great result in that. Absolutely love it. A lot of love and effort to get this one to... to I can to imagine. Get so again, this sort of like the funness of something very, playing on the two different sort of colour levels, if you want that sort of more brightness or more right. bra braveness sort of going through in, into the outfit. Okay, so we then sort of... This was the um, staying really sort of loyal to the artwork which was there, and this was like the the original um, Octopussy, the way Octopussy was written, the graphic the way Octopussy was written. So you got that lovely, um, almost like swirlness to the way the S's are running through. It's got um, a real sort of flow of the sea. A flow it of almost looks like a arms, like a yeah. Sanskrit or something yeah. like that. Just the way it looks from afar. Again, I'm looking at it close yeah. and then afar. And you get, yeah, and you just get, so just, we've just, so this was the original, um, just like these one off sort of um, graphic, one off sort of, um, which was there. And then we're just taking this through in, in, into the, um, into, into the bulldog again, into the swim But shore. Simon, what fabric is this? I'm not familiar with this. So this is our classic swim fabric. It is? Yeah, it's just giving it that, that lovely sort of soft handle when it's, um, when, when it's got... It the, feels the softer printing. for some reason. Um, maybe it's just, maybe it's, it's the octopus. because I just got off a plane. <laughs> maybe. My senses are dull or heightened. Right. I don't know. It's exciting. It's wonderful, though. It's excitement. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So we love that, and it's looking looking, um, looking great. So it's just like, you know, really, really sums up that sort of feeling of collection. Fantastic. Okay, so if we need the, obviously you need a shirt to go with the short, um, and then we started to sort of 
build in the logo here. So taking away the little octopus, you see we started playing around a little bit with the artwork yeah. and moving it around. But where you've got the, um, the octopus-y sort of um, tentacles now starting to appear onto the front of the shirt here. Yes. Um, and as we sort of move around, the, um, the octopus appears wow. in all its glory on, on, onto the back of the, onto the, back so of the shirt. So let's call this out. I mean, for all of us out there who, you know, saw Maud Adams and said, if only could they could make a guy's version of this, here it is. this is it. Um, and I hate to play Sophie's choice of like a favorite in a collection, yeah. um, but this may be it. It's, it's really exciting. It's right? so exciting, I mean, to have this. And I love the fact that coming and going, because I love the idea of the 007 logo. So you're, wow, that's really soft too. Yeah. You're coming with it, and then on the back, it's yes. that wonderful surprise of celebration. Yeah, and we just love like, the, yeah, the way, the movement of the octopus as well. Yeah. Sort of, um, how it well, it creates like curiosity too, like you're talking about movement. Yeah. It creates a movement, but then people are like, wait a minute, does that continue on to the other side? It certainly does. Yes, it does. Yeah. Wow. So this is in um, a linen and viscose blend. So like you say, it's got that really lovely sort it's of soft hand. Beautiful, and, and it's perfect for a camp collared shirt yeah. as well. Love it. Good. My gosh. Good. Okay, then the final piece. So we just touched on this one a little bit beforehand, but this is like really taking the, the celebration of our bulldog, taking the celebration of the you know of the octopusy, the, the Maud Adams dressing gown right. in, into one. And um, here we have the octopusy. So this is what we call um, placement print as well, which mm. is like a really, um, like you said, 67 pieces within the collection, within the um, construction of, this, of the short. Yeah. Each one of those has to be considered to be able to get the um, artwork to work on the, on the short. So, you know, if you look at the way the, um, the tentacle there sort of um, plays around the shirt pocket, so you have to sort of repeat the... Um, oh, look right. Inside it the, continues in the pocket, in the pocket which is amazing. You have the octopus's face actually inside the, um, in the pockets there That's crazy. Well. Or here where you've got the... Um, the waistband of the, of the short there, and then the so it's a separate piece which is applied onto the onto, onto the onto the onto the legs of the um, of the short, but everything has to line up perfectly in the way it goes. So this is a real um, signature piece of the collection, but it's just like a real sort of um, signature piece of what we do, with all, you know, what we the care and the price precision that needs to be taking place in the pair of all the bar brand shorts. Amazing! What a wonderful, wonderful collection. It's great, yeah. No, we're really happy with it, and, we, and also, yeah, just love the little logo there appearing into the into the bottom corner there. So. Simon, not to get operational, yeah, <laughs> um, but from a creative standpoint, how long does a collection like this take to create? Okay, so something like this would, um, as a process, it's, it's it's just over twelve months as a from a, from initial um, starting to research to um, a couple of weeks, you know, when it appears in the shops in, right. in, or online now, basically. So, um, yes, it's a, it's a 12 month process. Um, we go through, through researching, through to fabric weaving, to fabric development, to color development, to, um, to fitting of prototypes, to then going to sampling, to when we see the sampling in, then we're confident to order, and then we have to rely time in for production there as well. Wow. At the end. Very impressive. Simon, thank you so thank much you. for taking us through. Now we've, we've got something kind of special because it's one thing for Simon and I to wax poetic about these things. Olibar Brown has invited some very familiar faces to come in and see the collection, be amongst the first to see the collection. And we're also going to get their opinion of this wonderful capsule celebration. Here we go. I'm here with my very good friend, Morden. Morden, we wanted to get your opinion of the collection. I know it's the first time you've seen it. What do you think so far? Well, I have to say it's such a you know nice tribute to one of my favorite uh, Bond movies. And what I really love about the new collection by Oliver Brown is that it's you know it's it's you know it it has all the details of Octopussy, all yes. the homages, all the small details that we Bond fans love. But the great thing is also that you know it also feels very modern, contemporary. So you know whether you go to like you know Capri or Ischia or you you go to like the you know other countries during the summertime you know you will look very modern 
And and you do go to all those places. Yeah, I do. And you know, I will feel modern. So it's but it's a very nice tribute, I think, to the to heritage, to the Bond movie, to Roger Moore. It's very Roger Moore, you know. But it's also yeah, like I said, it, it's modern, and it's also I think it will fit people quite well. So we're in the 40th anniversary celebration of Octopussy. Talk to me a little bit, unfiltered. What do you think of the movie? I am one of those who's always loved the movie, you know, oh. ever since I saw it for the first time. I still remember, you know, when, when we talk about it now, like the first moment I saw it, you know, when I was a kid, and I've always enjoyed the fun aspects of it. And I think that, you know, because the Daniel Craig movies have been very serious, it's al always very nice to go back to the Roger Moore movies and to see, you know, all the fun. And, yes. all, and I also think that the filmmakers had so much fun, you know, recreating it. And also this collection is also very fun. So it, it's also captured that, you know, aspect of, uh, you know, of, uh, of that movie. But I think it's also a very underrated Bond movie because, yes. you know, I think for many years it was like, it was not popular to say that, you know, I, I like, you know, Octopussy. But I think in recent years it's almost become like a cult Bond movie. And, um, and it's also nice to see like, you know, the new Mission Possible movies very inspired by Roger Moore's Bond movies and it has some, you know, moments inspired by Octopussy. So I think that it's also the right time to launch this collection, you know, th during this summer. So just the perfect time. Wow. I mean, you said it's so best. And by the way, I, I, from what I'm taking away, if a Bond movie, you don't like it so much, just wait 40 years and it's really going to be appreciated. So Quantum of Solace, you know, in 2048, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, exactly. You know, then we will look back and, you know, maybe, you know, look at that and say like, oh, it has so many fun aspects. So maybe it will be, you know, fun. You, Can know, you imagine we're years. back here in 40 years and all of a sudden it's, it's a Quantum of Solace collection? Yeah, and at least I will look a little bit older, I think. No, nah, you don't age a, a, a minute. We will look like Roger Moore. We will. Yeah. Warren, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh. So I am here with Dave Evans. Dave, thank you for coming today. Pleasure, pleasure. It's great to be here. It's just fantastic to see this collection as well. Amazing to have you. So you got, I got to get your first impressions. What did you think of the collection? I, I thought it was absolutely great. I mean, what I liked about it was that there's somebody you know, who's really interested in tailoring. This collection is based on tailoring. It's not just a sort of really casual, you know, loosely put together collection of clothing. It's something that is based on good construction and good materials. And, and really good fit, and that's what I like. And I can just see um, Bond himself wearing exactly this sort of thing, you know, whether it was in the era of the books in the 50s or, yeah. you know, more recent Bond. It's just that sort of beautifully made, high quality sort of clothing he would have worn, really. I agree. Now, so I've got to ask you the logical question. I mean, being a Bond fan yourself, what is it that makes Bond so indelible? Why do we keep going back to James Bond? Do you know, I ask myself that question so often. Yes. I, I'm not really quite sure. I suppose he's sort of the guy a lot of us would like to be, you know, well-dressed, um, attractive, um, can solve almost any problem without getting too hurt. You know, I'm, I'd, I'd love to be that sort of guy myself, really. I'm with you on that. Maybe you, can, you and I can both pretend. Yeah, that, that? yeah, yeah. We could sort of combine our yeah. you know, talents, whatever we can they do might that. be. And, oh, yeah, my yeah. gosh. Dave, yeah. thank you so much Pleasure. for coming. Thanks very much. That's great. Dave. All right, I am now joined by Mark O'Connell. You know him, you love him, but Mark, did you love the collection? I did love the collection. I'm a big Octopussy fan. Octopussy mm -hmm. kind of my, it was my starting pistol to Bond in all the ways. Mm -hmm. I was seven years old when I watched it, and if you said in perhaps 40 years' time, and you'll be looking at this quite beautiful range of um, swimwear and tops and a rather dashing linen suit that's totally Roger, totally India 83, which I really like, actually. Um, but if you put an octopus on it, if you put a, uh, is it a blue-ringed octopus, I'll probably buy it. I quite like it, and I like, I like the playfulness of it as well, like literally swimming shorts that are designed like an octopus. That's, which octopus kid wouldn't want that? So. What's your favorite? piece in the collection. If, if they said you could take one today, what would it be? Um, I definitely like the Octopussy swim shorts. They're very classy. They're very nice. Again, it's that vintage, uh, that, that, that beautiful blues. Yeah. The, you know, it's, it's the tattoo colors. They've, mm -hmm. they've not just gone for like the octopus in the, in the uh, collection. They've gone for where it's used in the film. And I right. can see there's a lot of use of palette and colors like like Colonel Toro's green uh, suit, they've made that. They've just taken the echoes. I can see that. I can see all the uh, the mood boards and palette boards at. Um, you all picked of our up on the colors really well, yeah, yeah. including maybe the gorilla suit. I think there's a gorilla suit nod. You know, I'm serious. There's like a, a cute little uh, chocolate brown um, top there. It's a little thicker, maybe for sort of autumn rather than summer. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm like I looked at it and I wanted to check my watch. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Uh, one last thing. So I mean, you hinted towards this, but. 
Octopussy has a, a very soft place in your heart. Mm, What's mm. that all about? I don't know. I mean, I was seven years old. I mean, famously, I, you know, I've got a book out of Octopussy or it launched a book, but I, um, I, was, I was dragged kicking and screaming to see Octopussy in June 83. I wanted to see Return of the Jedi again. I'd already seen it. Um, and I had um, quite a meltdown in the uh, cinema lobby, but I just fell in love with its sense of it's caper, its sense of style, its sense of purpose. It's a beautiful production. It's very timeless. You know, it could be set in the 40s, apart from, you know, the odd digital watch here and there and the odd um, phone set. It's a really beautifully produced film. It has a real sort of Raj. I mean, yes, they were trying to tap into that Raiders vibe, so it's quite a sort of boy's own world of right. octopuses and, you know, and alligators and hot air balloons and steam trains uh, and little jets. Um, but I just think it's a really dignified film. And it's also one of the few Bond films that's really pinned to women. It's about women. So whilst this collection yes. doesn't have any... You know, I mean, all of our brand do a lot of stuff for men, less right. for women. But all of their stuff is also kind of... It can be adaptable. You know, there's... Uh, uh, yeah. Ladies who work here are wearing some of the stuff, and it looks good. So I, um, yeah, I, I, that's another thing I love about the film: is a sense of femininity, and you've got an autumnal Roger Moore with his favorite Bond girl, Maud Adams, who's my favorite Bond actress of all time. What more can you say? All right, so I am now here with good friends of mine, the Wade brothers. Gentlemen, hello. Hey, hey buddy. buddy. How are you? Good to see you again. We're doing good. We're having a great time outside, right? It's a gorgeous day here in London. We have been blessed by the sun gods. I mean, the last <laughs> two days have been raining, so I don't know what you bought with you, but it uh, seems to be it, good. Philadelphia yeah. does not bring the sunshine, so I don't know what this <laughs> well, you, is. You bought something, so thank you very much. There we go. I gotta get your first impression. So you walked in today, mm -hmm. not knowing quite what to expect, and then lo and behold, it was an octopusy capsule line of clothing. First impressions, what do you think? The collection is insane. Mm. It's really cool, it's unique. It's a little bit, it's, honestly, it's got everything. It's got everything mm. referencing from the movie, from all about all about Brown. It's got everything there, and I, I absolutely love it, yeah. It's They've a good vibe, a really got good vibe. A lot for each gentleman as well, and mm -hmm. the different colors I felt, felt in there, like, especially the way he was describing it in there, was like, for the more obvious Bond fan to the more subtle, mm. not so, oh, okay, let's wear this a bit, yes. a bit easier, or easier to wear. So there was so much for each gentleman on there, and the colors. They were amazing as well, so the color palette is really interesting. The so variety like is what kind of turns so you on. So much, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, think absolutely. the uh, the toweling, toweling shirts, creme de la creme. I, okay, so I this is creme this de la is a perfect game. Them, yeah. If you could choose one thing in there, what would it be? For me personally, I love the octopusy swim shorts. Yes. The details on them, Very how they've nice. managed to literally put an, an octopus on a pair of swim shorts and make, shorts, it, look so good, and make right? it look so yeah. good though. And like, right. but it's not even like I wouldn't even see, look as, look at, look at them as a reference to the movie. You could mm. wear them. Just generally, because I'm like, but it's just such a good reference to the movie, yeah. and they made them look so mm. sexy. They did. What I think you? for me, it had to be the 007 toweling, um, toweling shirt. Yes. The, uh, one, yeah. So it's just the de yeah, yeah, it was nice. just the detailing on it. So I don't know how they quite made it because to get such fine Print. details of the logo yeah. and the gun coming out of the seven on a t-shirt without without like spilling ink over the rest of the white was just yes, insane. Crazy. I think that's also why all the brown pieces are so unique compared to other pieces or other brands because the de attention to detail on it and the quality of the material is so good. So yeah. I think that piece for me, and I think it's really bold as well because from a distance, you may not necessarily realize it's 007. It may just be a, a, cool, pattern. a cool pattern. That's true. But the closer yeah. you get, you can see, oh, it's 007, and that mm. is, and if you really are a fan of the brand or even the movie, then all of our brown, all of our brown brand or the movie, then you're gonna really notice a good quality item there. It's so true. And guys, listen, you, you've been to a few of these Bond celebrations yeah. with brands and other things. What is it about James Bond that keeps bringing people back? Uh. It'll, it's, it'll never it's, die off. It's Mr. Like, it's Mr. No. Cool, right? It's classic yes. British gentleman. Yeah. Everyone, everyone comes to UK and they think fish and chips or James Bond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, true. And a good pint. <laughs> not in that order. No, 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 no. And a good pint as well. Yeah. Yeah. But it's heritage to our yeah. country, and it's grown so big in the world. And so we're cool. extremely excited to know who's going to be the next Bond. We have absolutely no idea. I think. Well, you're I looking at him right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Meaning, looking in a mirror. 007 and 008. You, you <laughs> guys could do it. I think you've got the, the, the physicality. Oh, absolutely. You've got the acting chops. Maybe, oh, wait, maybe. Wait, wait. Who's going to hire me? Come on, who's watching this right now? There must be a script You know what's great too? If, if something Producer. happens to one of you, you just use the other guy. I'm, I'm the stunt double, in. so I'll well, be all right. We, we, we've, always, we've always said if we're ever going to be, if there's going to be a Bond movie, Henry will be the villain and I'll be the Bond. 
I like that. Mm. All right. So it'll be like a twist to it. There'll be like a movie they, of what's going go. on. Yeah. I, I smell an exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, well, you heard <laughs> it here first. Yeah, they're here first. Yeah. Literally, totally. Absolutely. But no, we're, we're massive fans of James Bond, big fans of the brand. And I think this collaboration, what they're doing with Octopussy as well, it's, it's cool. Amazing, it's really cool. Yeah. It's spectacular. Well. To represent the 40 years, it's amazing. Guys, thanks for coming. Thank Appreciate you for having it. us. And good to nice see you again, everybody. Right. Take care, Don't guys. leave me hanging. I've left my hand here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> cut. That would have been the best yeah, ending, cut, though. It's like, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Walk away. Oh, thank, thank you so, so much. much. All right. I am here with Mark from Views from Mark. And Mark, David. welcome. Thank you. What did you think? First of all, this is your first time at the Olibar Brown facility. It is. It is my first time here at their headquarters. Um, it's magnificent. I mean, yeah. you would never know this place exists in the centre of London. We are literally one street over from Oxford Street, the busiest shopping street in the world. This is like an oasis, right? It is. No, it's beautiful. I mean, that what they've got here in the courtyard where we are currently, palm trees, there's flowing water you can probably hear. I mean, it's so tranquil. It is so nice. Now, what's not subtle or tranquil is the collection. And I'd love to get your point of view because I don't know if you had certain expectations before you came in here. Were they met? Were they exceeded? What did you think? Can I be honest with you? Please. I know you like honesty. I literally yeah. had no idea what to expect because oh, I, yes. I received this yes. mystery email two days ago from Oliver Brown saying they'd like to invite me to something top secret. Yeah. So I thought, okay, interesting. I will, of course, accept. Um, and yeah, I came in with no expectations, not really knowing what to expect. This is my first ever brand event that I've been invited to. So um, that in, in itself is incredible. So thank you for suggesting me because oh. I believe you suggested me for this. Um, yeah, incredible. And the collection itself is sublime. I mean, there's, there's so many classic pieces in that collection. Whether you want something that is what I would call overt bond or covert bond you know those moments that we talk about often in our own videos where it's the subtle bond that you wouldn't know if you know it you know but if you don't it kind of passes you by and you just look stylish and effortless and they've nailed it to a t yeah so the collection is sublime in my opinion i've got to ask you since you and i are cut from excuse the pun the same cloth as far <laughs> as these bond things if you had one choice, if they said to you, you could only walk out with one piece, which piece from the collection would you choose? I would wheel out with, um, <laughs> I would wheel out with, I think there is, there is one particular polo that I gravitated to from the get-go, which mm. is the kind of, uh, I don't even know how to describe it as a color. It's the kind of the, the very light cream. It's got the pattern though. Oh. The, 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 um, yes, it's a cross hatch. The cross hatch pattern yeah, yeah. that is kind of emulated on another polo and also the swim shorts, yes. um, which apparently from, from you know, hearing the, <coughs> the description of all the items was uh, a detail that they picked up on in one of Roger Moore's suits and the actual, the actual cloth and the material that was used in the original suit they've kind of reimagined for this collection which is sublime and I must say I, I did love the Q&A after the presentation that we had wasn't it nice it was really nice because yeah. I was I was burning with questions as you know yeah um, you know and yeah it was great really wonderful well we are so happy that you could be here we've Thank got you. some amazing champagne and some tasties that we're enjoying so we're going to enjoy the rest of the afternoon together mark thanks for coming david thank you so much of course anytime all right we've got the amazing aj chowdhury how are you sir all the better for seeing you david oh sorry my champagne's clinking i, I like that we actually got the phone. the asm SM, slr <laughs> something like that the sound on that so you've got a prop but you're also wearing a piece from the I'm collection wearing, i'm wearing a wonderful piece that i would normally wear myself actually it's beautiful and thin it's perfect for the hot weather we're having in summer. This is from the new Octopussy collection, Olibar Brown. Um, this is wonderfully subtle, actually, nice. except uh, when you reveal the inner Octopussy there. Which That's is amazing, my, the little details. Exactly. That's my little Octopussy, but it wears really well, and it's uh, um, beautiful for this weather. I can imagine sauntering around the Shervnivas so Palace Hotel in India. Where exactly. So come here, get over closer. So. We got to talk about Octopussy as a movie because we're in the 40th anniversary year. And what has Octopussy meant to you as a movie? Octopussy was the wonderful sort of 
Cold War thriller wrapped in an end of era Raj movie. Roger Moore's wonderful performance, the sixth Bond he was in. 1980, he was especially personal to me as a Britishman of Asian extraction. It was shot in India in the Udaipur Hotel. If you've ever been to Udaipur, it's a beautiful, beautiful wow. place. And the palaces look exactly the same, so it's almost like it was built for the Bond film. The wonderful script by George MacDonald Fraser and Richard Maybaum and Michael Wilson, directed by the wonderful John Glenn, his second movie. There was a lot of fun in the movie, there was a lot of glamour, but it's also quite a tight Cold War thriller. I was recently the Neen Valley Railway at the oh, on yes, the tracks of right, 007 yes. Peterborough event, reliving Octopussy on the railway set in East Germany, and it's wonderful, and now reliving Octopussy at Oliver Brown in London. It's amazing, and what an all-time high that we're all having today. Well, all we wanted was a sweet distraction for an hour or two. We've definitely he, got it. Again, he just ups me on the quotes. Yeah. So we're back in the studio for a little bit of a private moment because, you know, there's one thing to get people's opinions, one thing to hear about the creative design. These are wearable pieces of clothing. These aren't shelf hangers. So what I want to do is I'm going to curate and pick a few pieces out to try on, take a look at the fit, the feel, I'll give you measurements, I'll give you the sizings of this, and this way, you know what this does. This helps you to pick out your correct size. I know how vital that is. And then, once I get my pieces in, in a future video, I'm gonna try on everything. But today, we're just gonna try on a select few. So, without further ado, let me get changed. So here we have the chocolate brown. Now, this was described by Simon. It's a nice hearkening back, especially the brown color to the time, a little bit to Roger Moore, India, all those different plays. I love this. I have a howl at home that's kind of a, a unique blue, but this is brown. Now, we got to go over sizing to start this whole shindig. Uh, I'm a 41-42. I'm a 31. I had a lot of food on the plane, hearkening onto a 32. Um, so you have those dimensions. This is a size medium and it fits right. I mean, this is the perfect size. I don't want this shrink wrapped on me. I want a little bit of looseness. This is to come out of the beach, out of the pool, and it really does fit the bill as far as looking the part of the times. And by the way, we gotta talk about comfort. This is incredibly comfortable. Movement-wise, it sort of feels lighter than it looks, if that makes sense. That terry cloth has that toweling look, but it's effortless as far as wearing it. All right, let's jump to a different piece. Again, hate to play favorites, but this is probably in my top three in the entire collection. This is the one that is terry. It's got the 007, it's got the camp collar, it's buttoned all the way down, and it's a size medium again. And again, the medium fits perfectly. This isn't shrink wrapped. I'm not gonna be seeing rippling or anything underneath it. You don't need to, it's Terry. It's supposed to be effortless. But I love the playfulness of the 007 logo and it's a little bit of everywhere. I'm telling you, if I was just walking to lunch or going to the beach, people wouldn't probably give this a second look until you started to get a little bit closer. And then suddenly you see the 007 logo and it's you're going to create a wry smile. I'm gonna go even further and say you might get a Roger Moore eyebrow lift from a few people, and that's the point. Now you know, this channel is about authenticity, but it's also about telling you my opinion. This has to be my number one. I just, it, it is, I mean, this was the last one I'm gonna try on for now. Can't try on everything today, but this is a size medium. It fits like a glove. The linen is so perfect. It, it kind of, it, it cuddles you. And then of course you see the octopus tentacles coming around, also trying to cuddle you. And then on the back, you've got the piece de la resistance. Apologies to all the French people out there for butchering that. But that is the showstopper. That is the celebratory moment that we want out of Octopussy. And by the way, I'm gonna unbutton this top butt because it's a little severe right now. This is a very relaxed shirt. I'm actually pairing it with a pair of OB chinos that are a little bit more stead and stoic, also fun, but you can see you can do this with a solid pair of shorts. You can do this with a solid pair of pants. You can mix it up. This is about capturing, the whole collection really, is about capturing the whimsy, the appreciation, and the celebration of Octopussy. And I think they nailed it again. So 
I'm going to enjoy this shirt. I'm going to enjoy several of these pieces. Links are down below. I want to thank everybody at All of Our Brown for again opening up their home, but also opening up their creative minds and juices and getting them flowing to bring us more Bond fun stuff. Will this be their last Bond adventure? Just like James Bond will return, I think All of Our Brown will return as well. In the meantime, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.